Sarah, mixed results from Uber on the heels of that regulatory win in California. Better than expected loss, 62 cents versus 65 cents the street was expecting. A revenue miss, $3.13 billion versus $3.2 billion expected. You see that shares are down nearly 4.5%. Remember, though, they were up more than 25% this week alone. Gross booking, slightly better than expected. As we saw in the previous quarter, Uber has become much less of a ride-sharing company, much more food delivery. To Stephanie's point a few minutes ago, delivery made up more than half of gross bookings this quarter. Adjusted EBITDA, that's their measure of profitability. On that metric, delivery is cutting losses, but we should also note the more traditional net loss this quarter was $1.1 billion, bringing this year's total net losses so far to nearly $6 billion. Ride-sharing bookings, they improved 94% from the previous quarter of recovery, but still uh, some ways from pre-pandemic levels. In the release, CFO Nelson Chai reaffirming adjusted EBITDA profitability timeline. He says by the end of 2021, which has been well telegraphed by these markets and by investors, we will jump on the call in about 20 minutes and hopefully hear some commentary on how the fourth quarter has been going. Back to you guys. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.